what's going on everybody we are back with another video here on the torn your rain reloaded channel if you haven't done so already please go ahead and hit the like button hit the subscribe button if you are new to the channel hit the bell twice to be notified whenever i upload a new video or go live shout out to all of the members patreon uh the people on discord x instagram and everyone who sends me stories and all of that good stuff so as you can see today Myself and Kid Gravity, we are back to do another collab about another one of these individuals who just can't seem to keep black people's names out of their mouth. It's been a while since we did a, a, the last collab. It's been a couple of months. Yes, yes. But you know, every you you're busy. I'm busy. Life is busy, and you know. Yeah, and I have reached out to you about this because someone, one of my subscribers, has sent this to me and asked if I could collab with someone about this and here we are and y'all we gonna be here for a while because i don't know if y'all can see the time stamp in the bottom right corner of the screen but that says 47 minutes and 35 seconds usually when we do these kind of videos and collabs usually they'll be maybe 20 minutes or less this one is probably one of the more longer videos for sure especially if when we if we got to stop in between and give our take on it so i hope y'all are uh kicked back because we might be here for damn near two hours. I'm just I'm just saying, just on the video alone, because mm -hmm. after we go through the video, there's also some articles that we're going to pull up to basically show that this guy, Anthony Cumia, has a lot of nerve to come out of his mouth at any capacity to talk about black people in the way that he does. Yes. And for those who are not familiar with him, um, if you're in New York, you probably do from those... Uh, Howard Stern days. Mm -hmm. He was one half of Opie and Anthony. So they were basically the raunchier version of Howard Stern. If that's like, a, I think that's an oxymoron, right? Well, when we go through those articles, yeah. you'll, you'll, you'll see why he got fired. Because yes. you, you, you'll understand why. But yeah. basically, this video right here is in, uh, he did a video response to this black man. I, I can't remember the guy's name where the black guy was basically calling him out on his anti-blackness and basically saying like why like why do you like consistently do this and everything like that wasn't that and one he, of them whole tabs i'm not sure you know what's so funny when i looked at his at his face i thought it was dom lucre he kind of looked like him yeah. but i knew but i knew it wasn't him it's, because, it's just the because, same dude i think it is one of them whole tabs well, cause, and like I said, I knew it couldn't be Don Lecrae because Don Lecrae is too off code to have made a video like that. <laughs> I <laughs> mean, you saw, be, you saw that post he the, did. He, he would be the one in agreement with Anthony Cumia. Yeah. You saw that post he did about Jasmine Crockett. Yeah, him and and Cricket Wig and and uh, what's his and and Bill Holt and all of them. Yeah, yeah, I saw I saw what they said, and I alluded to that when I did my video about Jasmine Crockett, but I just didn't put any screenshots in there. I really could have. But it would have been too, it would have been, I would have been screenshotting for days, but y'all get the picture. I'm sure y'all already heard some of the stuff that they were saying about her because she had the nerve to come at uh, B6. <laughs> that's what she, that's what we, that's what we calling her now. The B6, B6. shot. <laughs> yeah, B6. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. Cause like I said, this is an almost hour long video. Uh, I'm probably going to ask you to pause it. A couple of times uh, there, Drew, because um, I, I can rarely sit through something where somebody is uh, speaking uh, in error um, and let it just fly by. So let's watch this uh, together, shall we? Hey, this oh. is called Anthony Cumia. You are a piece of shit. I okay? pause. It's a little See, now... <laughs> I was kidding. He called, called okay, me. Okay, and it's shit. a little rant. I know that even though you guys act like you're based, you probably won't be able to listen to the whole thing. But, you know, the thing pause, that pause, really... You can pause that. Because I made a point when I tweeted this. I retweeted him, including the video and everything. And I made a point of saying, <clears throat> yeah, I watched the whole thing. What am I going to do? Not watch it? Uh, or, or I'm not going to... Uh, I'm going to comment on it without knowing exactly what the guy said. See, they think too little of of you. That's what they do. Like, oh, you're not going to pay attention to some nickel. Like, hey, hey, here we go. It's already all. <laughs> yeah, we are if not. I had we, that TV we, drop right now. We already know where we're going. We, anyway. Listen, we are only a minute and nine seconds in, and he couldn't wait. Oh, man. <laughs> 
He yeah, waited until no he went to but, South Carolina to say this because he knew he can't say this in New York. They would be chasing him through the bush. And that's why and that's why when you when you had told me he was in South Carolina, it kind of caught me off guard. And I said, What part of South Carolina? And I said, Is he in the white part? And he was and you said, Yeah, he said in Greenville. I was like, Okay, yeah, because he's definitely not gonna go to the black parts in any capacity, like at all. Because I went to school in South Carolina, I went to an HBCU surrounded by nothing but pretty much black folks until you walked down the street and went to USC, and that's when you started more seeing a lot of the more white folks. But Y yeah but you know what we well, what do we always say we like them oh we like when they're overt we don't like having to try to figure them out you know like how when we were talking about what ann coulter did you know with ramen noodles we like when they're out in the open and we don't have to try to guess that's one thing we will give this guy but anything else he is a pos mm. And a staunch one and a proud one at that. And MAGA. We forgot about MAGA. Of course. Of course. I mean, it's like they, they go hand in hand at this point. I'm like, if you're walking around claiming like MAGA like that, I already know what time it is. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't and it doesn't matter if you are white or wanna be like this guy, because in case y'all are unaware, Anthony Kumia is Italian. You know, when, when I say Italian, I always call them the new whites because they only been around. They have only had the label of white for a little over 100 years. Listen to you. And I'll probably get a couple of uh, things that you're saying that I agree with. Maybe. I don't know. Let them roll. <clears throat> that really pisses me off. And you're, you're good at trying to piss people off because that's what you try and do all day is that you are sitting here pretending like you are trying to post these black crime videos um, to, to get awareness out. You're a piece of shit for that. You know that you're not posting these videos to try and get awareness out because you don't give a fuck about black people. You don't care about awareness. You use them to inspire hate, get engagement, and try and get yourself paid. All you ever do okay, is say bad. Pause. Now, what did you think about that? Because honestly, that's the that's the foundation of every person's grift. And I always tell people the foundation of every grifter's grift is the degradation of black people, specifically black Americans. Yes, sir. I always, I always say that and you can look at anybody who's grifting. They all do it. And some of them, they get too far away from themselves, then they get reminded and then they have to revert back. That's why you had the Coonstress up there making another video talking about how black Americans owe her an apology. I still don't understand why all the problems they got in this world. Why? Why us? Mm hmm. Exactly. Uh, he's right about one thing. I don't care about black people. Bullshit. I sorry. This is your. I, I'm sorry. If you get limited monetization, I, I apologize. You probably won't get. You probably, it probably uh, it'll probably bypass it because it's past a certain minute mark. <laughs> okay. well, I'm not gonna go crazy, but you don't think about black people, boy. If we exactly all you yeah. gotta do is go look at his page, and that's all he talks about all day, like talking about you don't you care about. It Clearly, you do. Yeah. I just figured something out. What's that? This is how they get around it to act like because they know if you say something like that you're gonna go look if you put black people i did this there's not that many posts you got to put in the word blacks then you'll yeah. start seeing everything see they they, they slick they're going back to that 50s 40s language because mm -hmm. they're even telling you family they don't think of us as people oh i always told you that three-fifths compromise while it may not be on the books, it's still in the it's still in the brain. It's still in the mind. Mm -hmm. They're gonna learn because they're gonna become the whites very soon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they think they they the, how they going around claiming that there's this thing called anti-white racism right now. Mm -hmm. Stay stay tuned because they ain't seen they ain't seen, they ain't seen nothing yet. Oh hell no! And the thing and the thing is and the thing is it won't even come from it definitely won't even come from us. No, not brother. We it won't even. It won't. Fish. It won't even. It won't even. It won't even have to come from us. The thing is, they're they're going to do themselves in. Wait till the fifth. The fifth needs to be hurry up and be here. No like, man, because there's still a whole bunch of wake up calls. There's still a whole bunch of wake up calls. Now, do do you want a little? You want a little teaser of a wake up call that's about to happen? Who's that? Uh, the Coonstress. Oh. She's about to get the LGBT on her ass again. Wow. 
Oh, I, I mean, told you that will. religious drift don't work. It don't work like <laughs> you think it works. <laughs> she about to learn, boy. Woo! But I've right. never presented my my social media or this show or anything as caring about black people when i talk about the crimes and the violence and the self-hatred and murder in the community and everything i'm not uh, talking about it so that black people can can help themselves because i care about black people if we i don't need you he's literally te- for those listening he's literally telling you how his grift works Oh my God. He's literally telling you right now. He says, I don't care about black people in the sense that I want to help them when I post this stuff. I'm doing this to get paid. Like I said, the foundation of every grifter's grift is the degradation of black people, specifically black Americans. Mm-hmm. And he's telling you right here, we're, we're only 226 in. And he's telling you how he, what, like his whole operation. This video that he's responded to, basically, the, the black guy, I don't know if he realizes it or not, but you, he literally, you literally just forced him into a confession. Mm-hmm. And he, and Anthony probably is so dumb and so anti-black to realize that's what he's doing. Or maybe he does. I don't know. No, he's a dumbass. Trust me. And when, when we start showing them, them uh, articles later, you'll see how much of a dumbass he is. Oh, right. If I put that across, I am truly sorry. I don't care. (laughs) I care about white people. I care about my society, my country. I care about all the things that black culture Mm -hmm. uh, is is ruining. Black culture is ruining (laughs) white society now? Okay, and how many times have we told y'all, fine, if you think we're ruining your culture, we'll stay to ourselves. Who shows up there but like, hi, guys. <laughs> now you sound like Ray Foreman. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm, you know what? I'm not even going to do it. Hi, guys. I'm, I'm here. I, yeah, I, I work with Rodney. Yeah, I work with him. Yeah, he, he told me to come by. I brought beer. Okay. Where are all the black girls? That's him. It's funny he talks about like you know like mission in black culture like this, but it's like when you look up who is the biggest consumer of hip hop music today, it's them specifically mm-hmm. young white teen males of a certain age bracket, but like between I would say like thirteen and seventeen, maybe eighteen. Yes, sir. and that's and it's been like that for years now. They consume it more than we do, and we are the ones that created it. Correct. And he loves to say that he's trying to talk against black culture, yet he's had Patrice O'Neill on his show many a time before he passed away. And Patrice, yeah, he he he'd get down with them, but he also knew he'd come over here and talk to us. He he knew what time it was. Mm-hmm. And that's why people In respected this- him because he was authentic. Definitely. But again, he Country. would never say none of this shit to him to his face while he was alive. Oh, definitely not, because Patrice, Patrice would, would, have check, would, would have checked them mm-hmm. to the point where we would have been like Anthony. Who? Yeah. I'm still, I'm still, even we, even though we're talking about this video and now he's on the radar, I'm still asking Anthony who. Come stay. Anyway, <laughs> you couldn't help yourself. I couldn't. <laughs> I said it low. Maybe that, maybe the bot won't pick it up. That's what I care about. Uh, so don't be mistaken that I give a flying fuck about black people. And what they're doing as far as it affecting them. The fact that they're offing each other in record numbers. That they live in self um, Uh self self-inflicted poverty and suffering. Uh Where, you know, you don't sweep the front stoop. You don't clean your fucking driveway. What? uh, Shit like that. (laughs) This guy's great. He's fucking good. But, but but I thought he but I thought he didn't live around black people though. How would yeah, why you do you know that? Black people like like how like how would you even know that's going on? Like unless you are what are you doing? Driving through black neighborhoods to look to scope and look and find that out to come back and report on it? Or are you just going based off of what you've been told or what you see online? Is he insane? 
Um, insane, so might be in, insane might be un, an understatement for him. Bro, you need to go back to Creed more in New York. What are you talking Sir, PG County, Maryland. You see plenty of black people with nice, beautiful homes that they busted their ass to get. Baldwin oh, Hills, California. Plenty of houses there and, and a nice neighborhood. Over $100,000. You got to be in that tax bracket to even live there. And I've been beautiful through Baldwin Hills. Hills. I've been through Baldwin isn't that, Hills. Isn't it not wonderful? It is a it's Baldwin Hills is a beautiful place. I remember when I went out there to LA for my uh birthday a couple years ago, and one of the people that I was out there with, they had showed me um through Baldwin Hills, and one of the most beautiful things that I saw was this black couple. It was a um a, it was a wife and a husband, and the husband was dressed in his scrub, so it looks like he's like maybe a, a nurse or maybe a doctor or something like that. And she had well, she was bringing him out his lunch to his nice car and they're outside of their nice home and before he left she gave him a kiss goodbye and told him have a good day and i'll see you when you get home mm -hmm. and drove and drove off and that's and that was I, I, that was a beautiful sight i wouldn't that was that stuck out to me when i saw that but baldwin hills yeah is a very prosperous black area yeah very and prosperous in atlanta you you punk I'll show I'll show you plenty of black people who got nice homes and they they out there with they John Dears doing doing the lawn. Come here. You had to run to South Carolina, sir. But we know why you ran to South Carolina. I ain't even finna say it yet. <laughs> I don't I don't give a shit. Yes, you do. Do whatever you want in your little communities as long as it doesn't affect uh Whitey. But it does. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> doesn't it affect <laughs> No, listen, listen y'all he said it not us okay he, he, <laughs> said it, he, he said it not us i want to know what black exploitation movies have you been watching anthony what's a good one whitey he probably why he probably watched superfly right or oh, remember <laughs> that episode of, uh what was the episode of fresh prince it was an episode of fresh prince where it was a uh um i think it was one of uncle phil's like constituents of one of his clients something like that and he said call me whitey and we oh, was like mean, nah i'm not nah. gonna call you that <laughs> and then and then and then and then when they had left out of the building uncle phil was already mad he said what are you looking at whitey, <laughs> you looking at whitey? <laughs> yeah that I was fresh yeah it was fresh i can't remember what episode it was it was like in one of the earlier seasons yeah i think because one of the one of the guys last name was like whitehead or something yeah it was he whitehead. wanted to call him whitey, him whitey. <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking at whitey whitey <laughs> but uh yeah th doesn't this remind you of like those old 50s videos where black people started going to the suburbs and they kept asking white people what they thought about it and you're like well you know i, I mean oh, yeah. they should stay to their own Mm -hmm. and you can y'all can find those videos on youtube those videos are on youtube right now from back then where they were asking them those questions and yeah they were very blunt about mm -hmm. how they felt about black people petitions all over the those, place i mean signs everywhere you go to the supermarket they waiting for you outside like trying mm -hmm. to talk to you and shit about it and, i'm like and that and that is the america they want to go back to yeah, but you you talking about you don't want it to affect Whitey, but then you show up in the hood when they start gentrifying it. Mm -hmm. How's that work? It does. Our tax dollars go to. I'm gonna speed this up because it's like this is 47 <laughs> minutes. I gotta speed this up. Yeah, My goodness. Once I'm surprised you didn't prove it yet. It, it, is one point two? Is one point two five good enough? You know, or he talks kind of slow, so it should be. I usually do one point three pay for uh, uh an insane amount of money goes to to that's still too slow we gotta up it <laughs> let's try 1.5 uh, black communities and they're just abominable yeah that'll work so no i don't care about black people you're right abominable i'm not, I'm not voicing my opinion abominable y'all let's go to appalachia one time sir owsley county would you would you Ooh. like to take a trip there lee county would you like to go travis county no oh, i could show you some poor white trash counties down here Mm. Especially, up is, the, especially up in the mountains. And the thing is, there's a the thing is this this is a poor white trash town in every state. Some oh, yeah. are more, some are more spread out among the state than others. But if you look hard enough, they are there. Yeah. Hey, Anthony, you and I are from New York. We can both go upstate. Hmm. And on social media and this program, um, because I care about black people. Um, awareness? Yeah, it is awareness. 
every fucking mainstream media outlet will never talk about the atrocities that are being committed by black people in this country against white um what happened in 2015 when trump went to baltimore sir hmm the, your, your local news covers that every night, but you you jerks only want to worry about if CNN is going to cover it. Meanwhile, there was a story that happened out in, I forgot where it was. It might have been California, where you had this white guy, it was a 25-year-old white guy, literally punched two elderly people on two different days. Mm-hmm. Literally, but they'll talk about the black people game. engaging in the knockout game. I'm like, you do realize that's not just a one race thing. Like, mm-hmm. anybody could do that. Hey, they Anthony. Are, go ahead, finish. But they, but they don't talk about when other groups of people engage in that. Only black people. We, we listen. We know a propaganda spin when we see it. Facts. Hey, Anthony, how come you didn't talk about the migrants up in New York uh, shooting fire extinguishers at the cops? Because that's not us. Or when they did those, um, uh, those uh, out in California again with the smashing those, grabs. The smashing grabs. They they immediately said it was black people all because they had all black on. I'm like, no, they found two of the ringleaders and both of them were south of the Bordarians. So nine times out of ten, the others were as well. And then you got to also take into account as well um, the location. Why would black people go all the way from L.A. all the way? I forgot what part of California Glendale. it was. Huh? Glendale. Glendale. Yeah, why would they go all the way to Glendale to do that? If they wanted to do that, they could have did it right there in L.A. Exactly. Exactly. Go straight downtown. But, you know, there was that. And Asians and every other race of people, their own people are number one. I'll give them that. They can self-hate better than anyone I've ever seen. And when it comes to killing each other, oof, you guys are, are pros. Hats off to you. But the unbelievable disparity in interracial violence when you go from black to any other race as opposed to any other race to black is blatantly obvious. It screams at you, the difference. So here he comes with the whole black on white crime part. He's oh he going into the, he going he going into per capita he going into per capita there we go <laughs> they always go to that I swear them two words it was the worst thing that ever happened to white people per capita <laughs> that's the, that's the I'm telling you that's the worst term they ever heard because that's all they use now like they smart per capita Jesus Christ and you could tell who never went through economics or who failed math class mm. them grasping kicking their ass. So yeah, you're doing a lot of violence against people. And uh, the media, media will never talk about it. They will oh, never sure. mention that. Well, here's the thing, Anthony, guess what? Guess what? Let's hypothetically said the media, he says the media doesn't, he said the media doesn't talk about it even though we know the media does talk about it. But let's just hypothetically say that the media didn't talk about it. You would want to be glad if they didn't because then what would you talk about? Because if the media talked about it at the length that you are quote unquote talking about it, then what what would you do like what would you talk about because then people say well i don't have to hear from you i already heard from them Mm -hmm. you have to talk about caitlin clark and how bad she is right now exactly like they don't realize how like how idiotic they are like people who are anti-black who say stuff like what he's saying right now Mm -hmm. because you would be out of a quote-unquote job what what would your what would your grift rely on? I, you know what? I won't even say that they would be out of a job. Well, I I can understand you saying that, but it's that's more why I, put, that, I put I put air quotes behind oh, okay. job. It's more <laughs> about they would have to use their intellect to really stimulate their their um their their audience and like you know how you how I call out the black conservatives. Since you hate us so much, have a live stream and sit up there and have an honest conversation with your crowd of mostly Mm -hmm. white people let me see something and they won't do it because their minds are so focused on us they can't focus on anything else yeah that's why over here in the new black media we can talk about a wide range of things which is why we can literally cut them off at every corner that they try to duck and dodge it's like it's no way that you're going to get around us because we already got you cornered Mm -hmm. but now they're cornered because they're anti-black and you've seen it and i've seen it and everybody else in new black media has seen it when you try to venture out of your, uh, out of the zone that they know you for what happens exactly look it, like like you said look at the coonstress that woman literally drifted out of her religion mm-hmm. <laughs> and went to another one and then tapped onto another grift i say yeah and, and i was and i was so like not to like switch gears a little bit but black people if you fell for her 
little temporary visit. Black is with us. Ever. Yeah, her, her temporary visit. You need your head examined. Mm -hmm. Because uh, not only did she Go ahead. If you, only, if, you thought, if you thought she was going to be there for a long time. Yeah, and not only that, she did all that, right? The blackest week ever, grifted into another religion. What was the first post? What was the third post she did after doing all those other posts about religion? What was the third post? About us? Yes, sir. Asking yeah, us she, to, she, asking yeah, us she, to, 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 to to apologize to her for a second time after she didn't get it the first time you ain't gonna get it the second time the third time the tenth time the a hundredth time you ain't going to get no apology from us like like wh what did you really expose about blm that like, we didn't honestly. already know exactly at and if you were aware with people sorry what? and if you were aware what was going on at that time you would have known that mostly black people were the ones who were saying we don't f with the organization especially what happened after with darren seals yeah we walked away from that we were like we get the message but now nah, we ain't fooling with them exactly. but now the the thing is coming back up where's the money where's the money y'all realize blm's been dead for two years three years actually why y'all still bringing them up they're not even a factor exactly and, you know that's them they're running out of ideas <clears throat> we'll beat the shit out of a white girl today it's not they don't talk about <laughs> it so what does that leave social media and shows like this which are very very few yeah, it's called awareness. And that's why you fucking hate it. That's why you don't like it. That's why you call me a piece of shit. And you No, we call you a piece of shit because that's exactly what you are. <laughs> what? Like, How I many mean... podcasts do y'all have? What are you talking about? Right. It's a lot of them. That's why I kept telling people. I said, X <coughs> literally become a... And I had to correct myself and shout out to Don P because he says, don't call it a think tank. He said, call it an echo chamber because they don't think. So that's what I'll call it. X literally has become, ever since Elon signed on that dotted line and before the ink dried, it has become an anti-black echo chamber. When Jack Dorsey owned it, like, you, like for all those years, you didn't see hardly none of this type of stuff. The reason why is because all of them were still over on 4chan and Storm Runner and all those other uh, forums. Facebook. But, yeah, or Telegram. So, mm -hmm. like... That's where they were relegated to. But when Elon Musk came over and he did what he did, remember what happened on the first day? They said the N-word usually went up 500%. And I'm sure it came from people like him. Mm -hmm. But, but like they, you said, yes, he's sir. most likely going to sell it. Of course. And and guess who? And whoever owns it is going to have all that information. Mm, mm, that oh oh that would be that'll be very interesting, bro. I didn't think I didn't think about that part. Yeah. That's why I said you better hope to God he don't sell them to them Saudis. Cause they be watching what y'all be saying on there about them. And bruh. If the Saudis get it, it's game over for, for y'all wife, oh boy. Y'all ain't <laughs> never gonna be able to travel nowhere in the world ever again. Mm. I have to make some excuse as to why I'm doing it. Money. Oh, it all comes down to money. Oh, we know it's money. You don't have to say if it is or if we know it's money. <laughs> We know you, you ain't doing this for free. Contract. We you know you ain't doing contract. this for free. Shit. He is not grifting for free. Multi million no dollar contracts. <laughs> if you are here grifting for free, then you got a problem. You better get Have Clay Case both. <laughs> <laughs> Have you looked up Anthony Cumia net worth? Look that up. Oh, look Lord, up some of the news stories go. of when I signed. So now he wants to throw around his, his bank account. <laughs> okay, like sir. like like anybody cares to look up your your net worth. Do you want me to look it up? Yeah, I mean, you. I mean, that's, that's up to you. Giggles. That's let up me, to you. Let me let me look it up for shits and giggles. Because because your, your your boy Howard Stern over there, he worth three quarters of a billion dollars. Let let, let me see some four million dollars, sir. You've been on the air since the late eighties. And we're here in 2024, so that's 35 years, sir. You've only amassed four million dollars. It's influencers who've been out less time than him who have Candace more in Owens. Their thank bank you. Count than he does. Candace Owens got a third on you, and she's worth ten. And she does no work, except talking about childhood vaccines. That's about it. You did all that for four million dollars. You let a black man troll you into doing a 48 minute a 48 minute video and you're only worth four million dollars after being out for 35 years since the 80s since 89 the year i was born yeah he came in, in the late 80s 
Come on, mm. bro. This is the you failed at life. No, that just also shows right there that he probably had uh, poor money management. Your man, your man, your partner, your former partner is worth three times as much. Hmm. He thinks talking about his net worth as long as he's been around as a flex. It's really not the flex he thinks it is, but okay. Delusion. It means delusions nothing. of grandeur. Sir, you went to Greenville, South Carolina. You didn't go to Miami. You didn't go to Orlando. You didn't go to Atlanta. You didn't go to um give me another southern city. Um, you say you didn't go to uh didn't go to anywhere in Texas, Dallas, Austin, Houston. Yeah, San Antonio. You didn't go to Charlotte. You didn't go to Nashville. You didn't go to well, you wouldn't go to Memphis because of the black city. I know how y'all are. You didn't go to Little Rock. <laughs> he didn't go to you New Orleans. You didn't go to OKC. You could have went to Jackson, Mississippi with that net worth and ran that city. You didn't do that. Sir, you can't talk to us. This shit, you can't talk to us. You could have went to Arizona. Out there with Charlie Kirk. Mm-hmm. But I know that water bill kick your ass. I know that. You could have went anywhere else. You went to Greenville, South Carolina. Because you wanted to be all white. Why didn't you go to Appalachia? You could have been king of the inbreds. Mm. But nah. You went to South Carolina. You went to the state capital. You didn't even go to Charleston. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sign contracts with uh, radio companies and satellite companies. Look at the subscriber base on Compound Media and how many, how much they pay a month and do some math. If you can do that, I know your skills. I'm not doing this for an extra two grand a month. It's nice. It's a car payment. I mean, I would never uh, poo-poo uh, a car payment from Twitter every month. Want to pay for my uh, Yukon? Feel free. I haven't changed one fucking thing I've done since I signed up for Twitter uh, back in the uh, 2012, I believe, somewhere around there. Uh, so, you know, you want to think it's it's uh, related to money. I'm Italian, not Jewish, sir. <laughs> uh, no, it is. Hey. Hey. Um. Yeah, uh, real estate agents. You, that's your that's your cue. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Even saying stuff about y'all for thirty five years. Go ahead. Yeah, as a matter of fact, when I was getting before we got started with this, I had was when I was looking up some other stuff and I typed his name and apparently he had typed some stuff into the on his ex account involving them folks. Mm -hmm. So this popping up just went and triggered my mind right back to that. <clears throat> They might be another one that's finna get everybody after the election. Hmm. Yeah. Simple awareness. I want white people and civil people in this country to understand where this violence is coming from, who's perpetrating it, and not uh, paying attention to okay. the nonsense you do here on the news. Uh, uh, enough. So there is no violence coming from white people is what you're saying. It's only coming from black people. Okay. Sir, the, the government is the reason why there's so much violence in this country, sir. Since we're going to have to go there, because, again, you, 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 you are damn near 60 and you still haven't figured this out. You've been hobnobbing around New York politics for decades and you still haven't figured this out. Because when it was David Dinkins and the city was in hell, y'all blamed it on him. But as soon as Giuliani comes in and cleans it up, wink, wink, then y'all gave him praise. Y'all said it had to take the white man to fix the city. But we also know that y'all, your folk were the same ones when Ed Koch was half, half with it. Y'all were quick to bring out the fact that he was Jewish and didn't know how to fix that city. So I, I love how y'all say it's black people doing the violence when y'all know it's the political structure doing the violence mm -hmm. but you punks won't say that because you'd have to go and talk to your fellow white people everybody but y'all won't do it because you're cowards and you don't like us because we call out everybody doesn't matter the skin color doesn't matter the race the creed or the sexual identity you fuck with us we're going to come see you 
and you don't like that because you're like, oh my God, the IQ of 75 people are over there. They're getting shit moving and we talking, we complain, and they're not moving for us. That's mm -hmm. what the real problem is. Exactly. Get active. Right. Hey, you, you, you say you that big, right? And you're from New York, so Trump should know you. Get Trump on your show. Why don't you talk to him? Go get some politicians, sir. You're in South Carolina. Go call up Nikki Haley one time. Go. Well, you don't like Tim Scott. It would have been nice. You've got plenty of South Carolina people that are up in November. Go talk to them. See where their head is at. They won't do know that. You don't do it. He won't do it. Pussy. Because it's too easy for him to get on here and say stuff like this this is easy for him. this this is his comfort zone right here for him to do what you just said he would have to get uncomfortable and he's not about to do that well they're scared of change i didn't told y'all this i hmm. tell people that you're scared of change look how they acted when trump lost they didn't even know what to do on themselves it's been four years and they've done nothing yeah like this is like when i had uh reposted up that picture from that zeke arkham guy who was a uh, bed bucking entry a couple months ago for that crap he put up on his ex account when he was posting up a picture of some white dude like a scrawny white dude he says on the left he said this is a person that's on the left mm -hmm. and he's and then there's me on the right i said so this is what so-called politics is devolved into how someone looks physical physicality wise is determination of what side you're on remember he threatened that 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 politician Talk about meet that. me in the ring oh uh, See, I don't follow him. So yeah, he said he he because some some politician called him or somebody running as a politician called him out on something, and he was like, "Well, we could go fight in the ring." I'm like, "Bruh." I'm like, instead of you trying to fight for some policy, you want to go and fight somebody. Okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> and then it was like, and then two white guys show up. They're like, "Oh, we'll sponsor it." I'm like, he just threatened somebody that's running as a representative for Congress. And y'all are enabling him to go crash out now if he puts hands on that man because they were also saying oh we'll go find you on this we'll, we'll meet you up on the street and we can have a conversation so you're gonna make that big old stupid black man go crash out just for some youtube hits and he gonna be sitting in jail away from his family away from his kids because he wants to go viral yeah, this is what we're doing they, and they're not gonna put money up for the bail yeah and i don't care if he's a former cop they're not gonna help him because as soon as he go in front of that judge, that liberal judge in New York, they're going to tell him, you're a cop. You should have known better. Hmm. As to why we need uh, to, to infringe on Second Amendment and First Amendment rights, which you are, are uh, calling for here. You don't want Elon Musk. You'll see it a little later in his video. You, he doesn't want Elon Musk putting the likes of me, giving me a platform. Why? Because I'm a piece of shit, you say. You don't like what I'm saying because it's true. You think it's um, related to uh, me wanting money from this? No, it's awareness of something that is happening. All right. If it wasn't for money, then why is your X account monetized? Well, remember, and why is every and why is every post you make somewhere controversial that'll get you a lot of hits? We know how this works. Now, do you think he's gonna give up his ID on Ju by July first? <laughs> now that's the day I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for that day. I want to see how many of them are really. I want to see how many of them you if y'all really bought that life i want to see if you gonna if you gonna follow what the government won't right because elon's in bed with them he's just not getting oh, yeah. treated he's just not getting treated like the other one because he he a new kid on the block mm. but i want to see if you really about changing the swamp and all this if you're gonna give up for for your country are you gonna give up that blue check or are you going to confirm to me when I do the the um the commentary on July 2nd when I go through all the prominent X accounts and I still see that blue check there that's going to tell me anything I I, I mm -hmm. already knew you bunch exactly. of grifting pieces of crap because I already know most of them not going to give it up I already know this and we're talking about the people that pay for that blue check not those who were actually organically given it by the platform because you are a verifiable account that has a huge following and because it was too many spam bots trying to mimic you we're talking about the people that went and pulled out their card and bought that subs that monthly subscription mm -hmm. 
ever do is say bad things about black people constantly as if we're all trash, right? You don't care about awareness. But the thing that is really sad about it is that there are people that actually do care about um, like spreading that message, awareness, seeing like, hey, look, there's crime going on. People are dying and we need to change it and do something about it. Pause. All right. <laughs> when is this going to happen? I'll be honest with you. We're tired of waiting. We're just tired of waiting. And it certainly doesn't seem like it's on the right track. Uh, I don't look at the the racial, uh, the race relations and race uh, implications, implications and relations of, of years ago and look at it now and go, well, at least we're headed in the right direction. I, I cannot remember, unless it was looting during a riot, this just freedom to steal that is going on with uh, black people just walking into so now we're going back to 2020 because i'm mean, that obviously that's what he's <laughs> alluding to because that's the last time all of this really really did happen um uh it wasn't just black people out there i don't i don't know how how stressful we gotta like how much we gotta stress that it wasn't just black people out there it was it was actually a video where it was a it was a white guy out there and he was trying to start some stuff and it was some black people that held him back from trying to start some stuff. I think it, it was during that time. Hell, it was a whole white guy that burned down that whole precinct, mm -hmm. and they never talk about him. I only saw his this man's picture one time when that happened. Never saw it again. But it was a white guy that burned down all that whole precinct that Derek Chauvin worked for, and none of them. And especially not him don't even talk about it but you want to talk about looting and rioting when it comes to black people see we already know again we already know what type of time anthony kumi is on he's he's there to basically be the person that has nothing but propaganda when it comes to black people that's all he's there for mm. almost, almost like he's been installed torian yeah um while you're playing that i want you to look at that last link i just sent you in the private chat all right to stores grabbing armfuls of merchandise and walking out in one case running out laughing a woman big fat black woman hands full of stuff running and laughing because it's funny because nothing will happen this is progress this is white people are supposed to look and go all right we're kind of still pissed about uh, you people and what you're doing but at least you're trying we see you know you're making a uh, progress making headway with this crime thing and stealing and and violence beatings murder oh he's just throwing out everything and oh yeah kg i just saw the link but he's just throwing out everything like listen to what he's just throwing all the stuff out there and to see what sticks mm. every single stereotype you could think of he's throwing out there because that's what they that's all they are now they're nothing but a bunch of stereotypes he even said it like a minute before everything goes back to 2020 that's the day i'm sorry hey clear dashians 2020 was the last year you guys were relevant that was the last year everybody on earth saw that you had some type of power how if you don't believe me family go look from 2020 from november 7 2020 to to the day that you're watching this and you tell me even though they have blue checks and they get millions of views on their post do you feel the same way you felt before that election when it comes to them and how they view us because and i back can't help but notice his face like he looks like a toad my man <laughs> and you stopped it at the perfect place <laughs> <laughs> but what i mean is yeah we would go back and forth with the white supremacists before that 2020 election but haven't you noticed now kind of when we do it now we kind of feel sorry for them we don't even engage them no more right we, we just let them we just let them still like look even that that bipoc doing racism like he can barely get his post going off unless he got to mention black people mm -hmm. can't do it and even then he's no. starting to he's starting to get he's starting to get the wrong engagement somebody gonna get at him and it's not gonna end well for him but you know it's gotten worse and we're just tired of waiting uh he says there are people you know i just do this to sow the seeds of hatred 
and to uh, to make money. Uh, yeah. And I'm a piece of shit. While other people are actually uh, making people aware that there is a problem. And they're saying, we got to fix this. And yeah, who? Where are they? Hollywood? Can I answer that? Oh, you did God, it again. <laughs> you did it again. <laughs> You've learned from me. <laughs> you get better. You get better. But um, sir, that's why what, Torian, what's the hashtag we use a lot on on, on this side of the world? Couch twenty twenty four. That one, and what's the other one? I feel nothing. Yeah, but uh, well, it, it comes from me. Um, vote them all out. Oh, okay. Sir, that's what your local and state governments are for. That's where you get rid of the problem. Yeah, not getting on on social media specifically x to air out your grievance if there is one which i don't think there is with we know what his is for an hour to say a bunch of nothing like we've been on here talking he's been talking for 10 minutes and has said absolutely nothing that would be a fix the so-called issue that he has but he says he he doesn't care about black people but literally that's all he does all day is talk about us and if he wants to take a break, he might talk about them folks too, but only for a limited time. And then he's right back on us again. Yeah. Y- exactly. Y'all are going to yeah. learn the night of November 5th. Y'all are going to mm-hmm. learn. Because y'all can go sit up there and, tr- and cheer for Trump or Biden all you want. When them returns come back and you start seeing a whole bunch of these representatives and the few senators that are up, you know, those mainstays start to get knocked off. Mm hmm. Then y'all going to understand what we've been doing because, again, these same black folks that you're saying are gangsters and move around and just kill each other. There's another thing we like to do. We like to move in silence. Mm -hmm. Don't think we ain't back here doing the work. We looking at everybody and everybody got to go. If you love that person so much, get them back in there. Exactly. Start talking about it. Y'all are six months away. I'm sorry, five months away. And I don't see y'all talking about, oh, Who's this challenger for Thomas Massey? See, Josh Hawley's up. Who who's the guy going against him? Y'all not talking about that. Y'all gonna wait till September to start talking about these people, and by yeah, then it's gonna, it's gonna be, be too, late. too late because we've already had a year and a half head start on y'all. But yet you yet you but then guess what? They're gonna try to find a way to blame us on that too. I'll take that blame when all their favorites are gone. I'll take that blame. I will be on here during my twelve hours of laughing at them. I'll, I'll take that blame. I that's going to be that. an interesting day. I think that's the other reason why I can't wait for it to be November 5th is because oh, I'm yeah. looking forward to that. 12 p.m. family. 12 p.m. And that's a Tuesday. And that's a Tuesday. I'm specifically taking that day off. I don't I'm not going to work. I don't care about them giving me four hours pay. I am taking that day off. Most people are going to be off that day anyway, especially being a fed worker and school. But yeah, in school. Yeah. After I go vote local and state and write reparations on POTUS. I'm coming back here. We're going to be in purple mode. 12 hours straight. No break. The only time I'll take a break is if I go get something to eat and I'll play a video or a live stream. Hmm. But we're going to have fun that day. And Washington? Really? Is that it? Who? Name one person of influence who's saying anything. The last motherfucker that told you fucks to, to pull your pants up was thrown in prison for Cosby. <laughs> Waddle. Oh. <laughs> and Bill Cosby's got way more money than you, way more influence than you, because you had to bring him up. Exactly. We're looking at the bills, and on top of that, Bill Cosby isn't even, wasn't even locked up for violations. Exactly, he was locked up because they needed to lock him up. <laughs> yeah, they had to find because Kevin still said that you know if you elect me, I'll find a way to get him locked up, and he got elected, so we know what happened with that. Mm-hmm. But uh, see, who is it? Red Joker. Shout out to Red Joker. They always got us on their mind. Mm-hmm. Won't you pull your pants up? Where you look stupid? Wet your pants around your butt. Your bird, your bird. Oh. That's a horrible impersonation of Bill Cosby if I ever seen one. Mm. <laughs> rape, 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 rape. No one of note in in the black circles are saying shit. This should be paramount. All the energy. Are you serious right now. So, so this is supposed this. So this is like the biggest thing going on right now for him. This is just like this is bigger than anything going on in the world. Is putting black people on Front Street 
with so-called degeneracy. That's that's the biggest news out there that he feels should be the biggest thing out there. That's all they got. Exactly. And like I said, it's so much other stuff going on in the world that's bigger than that. And that's what he wants the, everyone to talk about. That's what he wants people to focus on because that's what he's focusing on. These cowards have no power. I think a lot of them are starting to realize it. They wasted four years doing They're nothing. They're panicking. Yeah. They've wasted four years doing nothing. They, there was no... Because I said this. Whoever lost that election, uh, they have to get better. And you watch. They lost. Okay. If you lost the race, Torian, what's the first thing you would do? Like if you lost a, 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 a hundred meters. <clears throat> What's the first thing you would do? I would train and condition myself to get better so I could win the next time. There you go. What did MAGA do for four years? Nothing. Except? It, except saying that the election was stolen. Oh, they did do something, though, on January 6th. Yeah, but I'm not even talking about that. That, that's more <laughs> like, that was like them rage quitting. Mm. And, they, just, and, they just basically said that the election was stolen and, and trying to get 45 back in to be 47. Mm -hmm. that's about it and and we can succinctly set that up in eight letters complain that's all they've done for four years is complain there's no activism they're not outside getting new people in there hell you did the story i mentioned it they got rid of the one key area that they could have ruled over them them democrats minority mm -hmm. outreach they could have preached a whole brand new message. They didn't do that. They cut ties with it. Yeah. That's why they lost in 2022. Because they were supposed to have a red tsunami. I called it Armageddon. And they barely got like 10 seats. Because they were complaining. Nobody wanted to hear from them anymore. Mm -hmm. And now they're going to screw around. And the way they're complaining, they're going to give the blue side most of them seats back. And then they're going to be complaining some more. But here's the problem. This time around, they're not going to listen. They're going to keep y'all quiet. And that's why I keep telling y'all, your boy Elon is going to sell that app. Where y'all going to talk? Y'all going to run they the rumble? Ain't going to have enough money over there. They're going to have to go back. They're going to have to go back to their forums. Where there's no money. Exactly. And no audience. Mm -hmm. Is there is there is an is a echo chamber? Mm -hmm. And they no know rumble. they know they they know they don't they don't have the aud the audience over on any of those other platforms like the ones they have on X. Mm -hmm. And then you can't go to Rumble because Rumble they got their establishment over there. They ain't gonna pay. They ain't gonna pay like X pays because now you're you're divvying up the pot more. So you might have a war over there now. Just because y'all, just because you, you wanted to complain about black people too much. Hmm. Black celebrities and politicians uh, saying that white cops are murdering blacks in the street. All that energy should be put toward what the fuck is wrong with the black community stealing, murdering, raping, robbing. Uh, don't do that, and, sir. And, and just the, <laughs> What's that? Don't do that, sir. Don't start. Don't start with that. With with them FBI stats. Don't do it. Don't do it. Because <laughs> you, you're gonna lose. Or I like to call them. Or I like to call them. Or I like to call them. Photoshop stats. They be pulling out yeah. all these stats, and then it's like the bars just keep getting higher and higher under with black people, and lower and lower when it comes to white people. Yeah. <laughs> they, they, How did we they, get they, to they, sixty? Right. How did we get to sixty? <laughs> Jesus. Okay, we doing the violent crime. Yet everybody said, and even 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 the the writer said this. There's been an eight percent drop in violent crime across the board. So where? How did we jump up eight percent? That doesn't even make sense. And notice they don't really talk Chicago. about Chicago. I, I was gonna read about Chicago. Notice they don't really talk about too much about Chicago like that anymore because of the south of the Bordarians there. Now they really don't. As a matter of fact, there was a story that came out of Chicago maybe two months ago, and it was, I guess, a shooting or something like that. They immediately mm -hmm. said it was a black person. It turns out it was a Mexican in mm -hmm. a Mexican neighborhood at that. Mm -hmm. But you know, that's them. Mm -hmm. That's them. That's them. They again, 2020 broke them. All their transgressions came out, and all their lack of intelligence showed this rare its head 
because they didn't go outside and touch grass. Hmm. Or they went to Florida and drank the water. Basic uh, mayhem coming out of the black community. That should sure, be sir. done. Maybe then a little shame might be spread around and something might actually change. But this guy talking about there are people talking about it that really want change. Who? And what have they done? What have they done in the past few years as we watch the problem get worse and worse and worse? You think I want to come on here and talk about you motherfuckers every goddamn day? You do, but you do. <laughs> I'm gonna let you like, have it again. Way. Again, like you literally, like literally, just spent the last almost 12 minutes. You, your whole page is a shrine to it. Like all you got to do is go on the X and just type in Anthony Cumia blacks, and it's a long laundry list of all types of shit that he be talking about when it comes to black people. He does like, is he for real? <laughs> He, no, I tell you, they're in a delusion. They love us. They just don't want to come out and say it. They're obsessed. It's a lust. Blood lust. That's crazy that he even actually... <laughs> you know what's so funny? If we wasn't going to go through this whole thing, we could have ended it right there. I think we should. Like really, we gonna, not, he, he's just gonna be we, ran in for another thirty minutes. Like really, some bullshit. I, hey, hey, listen, y'all, y'all, y'all just got saved. Him saying that just saved y'all from like another thirty-five an extra, minutes like, of bullshit. Like, 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 like an extra, yeah, like probably almost an extra hour, because that part right there cuts it off. You, we don't have to hear anything else that he says after that. That was the moment right there that I did not expect to hear from him when he said what he just said. You talking about you think I want to come in here and talk about you every day, but you do though. The There's thing is, so if you didn't want to, if you didn't, Carolina. if you didn't want to talk about us every single day, then why do you do it? Why did you even make this video in response to this black man saying what he said about you? It's because you wanted to do it. You I'm choose sorry. to do it. You have the choice to do so. No one, no one is holding uh, the the power tool to your head and forcing you to do it. You're doing it on your own free will. And you're getting paid at the same time. Right. And it was a three minute video. You you, you didn't have to do that. Uh, imagine that. He did all of that for a three minute video. So that's how I know. Hit him. Exa exactly. Just like when I was talking about uh, B6 and how she made that video of her doing those workouts after what Jasmine Crockett said about she got in her head. Then she posted that video, that picture of her. She says, I'm 59, and posted up with her bikini, and people still going, going in on her. She mm -hmm. got in her head. I don't know what it is, but I think I'm liking this tide of where black people are getting in these dub S's heads. Like mm -hmm. they got the mental, they got the mentally on lock. They say, We don't have to touch you. We can just exactly. say certain things that might trigger you, and we may not even realize we're doing it. But when you Bruh. respond to a three-minute video with a almost hour-long response, quote unquote, that means what this person said in three minutes got in your head and it stayed there. Facts. I mean, I think I'm starting to do it on X too, because I be responding to these white supremacists, and then they buddies be trying to come up in there with them memes. I just be like, damn. Just like I had went in on that, uh, it was remember that it was a while ago. It was me, me, you, and Rob had did that collab video, and I was talking to y'all about that, uh, that chick who was like a failed actress or something like that. Yeah. I, I said a whole bunch of stuff about her and the anti-blackness she spewed, but the part that messed her up and caused her to try to call me out to her following was me calling her a failed actress. That's the only thing. And that what was her name? Her. I forgot, but I called there her. There you go. That was the answer I was looking for. Okay, okay. <laughs> you forgot. I forgot. I did. I literally did. I forgot. When did we even talk about that? Oh, was that like, like, like last year? Or that was last like that? year. I think it was last year. Well, into last year, or maybe the year before. No, it was like uh, it was like late summer. Okay, yeah. I, yep. The, the that I find myself sometimes going back and looking at that uh, real on I think uh, that Instagram. Was, um, yeah, I think that was like after uh, when the affirmative action thing went down yeah but yeah like i said i forgot her name i called like she was saying anti-black stuff and i did a video about her and i think i tagged her in it she saw it and the only thing that pissed her off in that whole video was me calling her a failed actress what she was and what she is and and then she got her her base all riled up for all of like 10 minutes and then they went back to business as usual mm -hmm. and then you go look at their post after that and nobody cared exactly 
So yeah, but yeah, we, we we're done with this. Like after he said that, we don't gotta watch no more. And I'm sure y'all, I'm sure y'all are probably in the chat right now saying, "Thank God, can we please <laughs> go to?" <laughs> yeah, let's go to something else. Let's go. Okay, but now that means we can go ahead and kind of segue into the um the articles that we have uh pulled procured. Up. Procured. Pro yeah, procured. Procured. I sound like trying to spicy. <laughs> oh. oh. Procured. <laughs> Oh, her, 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 try, her trying to say it. Because, you Kurt. Know. <laughs> did you say pro Kurt Angle or what? What did you just say? All right, so we should we go in date order with these because I have like maybe yeah two or we three. should we should let's start, okay let's start with the first one which happened back in two thousand two. Speaking of degeneracy, and I'll let you like discuss this one because you were the one that brought this to my attention because I didn't know about this. One. Yeah, I actually remember this because it was bro when i tell you this was a citywide story it was every news organization talked about it i get it there's celebrities in that market i get it but the ramifications that this had do you understand that these two fools just created a felony mm -hmm. after this because they decided to hold a contest for tickets concert tickets who what what what's the most outrageous thing you could do for concert tickets these two people went into saint patrick's cathedral went in one of the confessional booths and had yeah mm -hmm. relations but not the kind of relations you're thinking of the extreme version of it and they were mm -hmm. on the phone with them when they did it yeah and this is what ended up getting their show snatched oh, off the air with the the next day they were gone because that happened on a thursday they were off the air friday mm -hmm. now this is now this is now it, it's anthony cumia and another guy greg hughes aka opie okay yeah they called themselves opie and anthony and um the guy you just heard from for like and we saw we had to make your ears ache like that but yeah he wants to talk about degenerate behavior yet that's what he was doing back in 2002 and it doesn't stop there y'all like that was 2002 let's fast forward to 2015 mm. where he where this one right here i think got more news or more it got put out there more where, as you can see right here, is on CBS News. He was arrested in Long Island for a domestic abuse case. Now, mm -hmm. mind you, at the time, he was 54, and the alleged victim, like they say right here, was 26. You saw the pictures of that girl and everything. Yeah, I saw that. I'm not going to put the pictures yeah, up there, but that. he, but yeah, he, he, he Lady badly, he badly battered her, like to the point where, think of what, um, what Chad Wheeler did to his ex girlfriend on mm -hmm. on that is it was on that scale. So if y'all seen how sh how she looked, that's how she looked. Like I mean, talking about bruises everywhere on her face, the blood in the and mouth I, and all that. Yeah, and, and 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 think wasn't he choking her or something? Mm -hmm. too? Yeah. yeah, and I think they I think they I think they got it on video too. Like you know mm -hmm. all of that happened because yeah, he, he had uh, cameras in his house. Yeah, and, when, and I think when they and wasn't it when the cops got there, he was actually doing it. Yeah, I think like he that. like just started like getting off of her. Yeah, it was it was bad. Yeah. So yeah, he uh so yeah, this is the case right here from twenty uh Oh, you gotta 15. play the, the twenty fourteen one that I sent you. There was a twenty one yeah, the one where he got they got fired off family, they got fired off a of satellite radio it was supposed to be free speech heaven. Was that that's the one you just sent me? Um not not the right wing watch one i forgot which one. uh hold on yeah. let me pause it right quick all right so this was sent to me just now i know y'all probably realized it was like a little jump i had to pause it right quick to pull this up so this is what kg just made me aware of um of why he was fired from satellite radio now this is years later this is not the same one from 2002 this is him by himself 
Now, there was video there, but I believe they have removed it since then. Of course, this happened back in 2014. So this was almost 10 years ago because this was posted on July 2nd. Now, look at this right here. It says, Opie and Anthony host fired after racist Twitter rant deletes all tweets. Now, look at this quote right here. She's lucky I was a white legal gun owner or she'd be deleted. That's 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 just one of his quotes. Now, while they don't have the video or maybe any audio of him actually saying it, they do have the quotes uh, from that. And we're just going to kind of think he took him down. Yeah. That, yeah. Because I'm scrolling through and it's like a lot of blank spaces. And I'm guessing that's where the videos were. Mm -hmm. But, you know, screenshots live in infamy. Now, listen to this. They say he was paid three million a year. Mm -hmm. All you imagine messing your bag up like that because you want to be so anti-black yeah. like that's another reason why they're so dumb you messing up three million a year the economy was much different back in 2014. yeah you need shoot that. three shoot three million a year depending on how you living in 2024 could be good for you yeah and you were in times square when this happened so there's cops all over the place all you had to do was file a report so here's uh, one tweet right here. He put, Ironically, he posted it up on July 4th. He says, Sirius decided to cave and fire me. Welcome to Bizarre World. Fire for shit that wasn't even on the air and wasn't illegal. So who's next? So um, this so this is the part right now where he's 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 in his narcissistic root ra uh, range where he feels he said and did nothing wrong. But mind you, what we just what quote we just read. I was going to say, um, sir um you're a celebrity you're on the clock 24 7. you're a public figure at the very least exactly you don't think there's paparazzi in new york exactly so here's another post right here it says uh so and anything you regret lately would you do anything over i was assaulted taking pics i did nothing wrong so no he's and they said i wouldn't apologize i'm not sorry talk to you all after a great summer he wasn't bought back exactly <laughs> so who was you talking to and this is it's not clear yet whether yet the co-host greg opie hughes and jim norton will continue the show without their partner and the two wrote vague comments about the situation on twitter jim says for 10 years anthony cumia has made me laugh harder than anyone alive something tells me that was very forced laughter it says no one has silenced me i just have no idea what happens next he's being on code uh opie says just spent a glorious day photographing the wood covered bridges of vermont did i miss anything okay yeah all right like you didn't and, get um, the call sir and then it says on wednesday night kumia said he was trying to take pictures of times square when a woman got angry for being caught in his frame the 53 year old host said the woman objected to being in the photos and started punching him which i doubt he said after calling her a name, she punched him repeatedly and then was harassed by, quote unquote, five blacks. Though That's what he said. Though he never filed a police report, he then took the Twitter to tell his story and rail against, quote unquote, animals who prey on white people. You can't make this up, bro. You can't make this up. They tell on themselves all the time. You didn't file a police report when someone was assaulting you. And this, I know he's lying because this happened allegedly in Times Square. You know how busy Times Square is? You would have had a whole bunch of witnesses. People would have pulled out their phones and recorded it. There's no footage of this happening. And you just said it was a random black woman. This this line's right up there with uh, the black person stole something from me. Mm -hmm. And they were wearing all black. They had black shoes. They had on black pants the black hoodie the the a mask and they were driving a black suv you know the all black that's right up all there with black this. but well, yeah you was in the middle of so times square with all them tourists around and no one saw anything come on now and you are a public figure someone would have known it was you mm -hmm. and then he says here's the pic that we got of the whore b piece of c, c all pissy and again he took it down that's why you guys don't see it yeah basically they said they make him they made him delete all his, imagine you have some con let's hypothetically this person did you know do the, what you accuse them of you ruined your own evidence when you decided to go into the anti-black route and you ended up having to delete all the tweets so you deleted whatever quote-unquote evidence you had <laughs> this guy is not too there's not the brightest bulb in the box 
Then he goes on to say, so I'm taking pics in NYC and a black girl who was in frame punched me in the face. I called her a effing and it's blurred out, but I'm sure it's a very expletive word because that's what she was. And this uh -oh. is Kumio says she repeatedly attacked him and that's when the other people appeared and gave him a hard time. So it sounds to me like just based on that part right here about giving him a hard time, he probably kicked up dust. Most likely. He most likely kicked, started he probably dropped the N-word. Most likely he probably did. And see, he went and tried to go into victim mode. He said then she punched me five more times. She's lucky I was a white legal gun owner or she would be unalived. Then five blacks started giving me shit. I, I wish I could see this video because I can imagine he was the one that kicked all of this off. I just imagine that's how it went. Hmm. He says, I told them to back the F off. This wasn't their show. The chick then punched me again. Seems white boys don't hit back. Lucky Savage. Lucky Savage. And he said he he says if a cop was around, she probably lied that he sexually harassed her. Wish a cop was around, although she said she although she said she tell them I sexually harassed her. Lying, well, you didn't see the word. I hope she gets popped in her ass f face. <laughs> if this isn't like extreme anti blackness, I don't know what is. And he goes on and says he says they aren't people. He continues that because of his race, he was unable to retaliate. <laughs> what stopped your predecessors before? Exactly. I'm talking about from colonizing. I mean, you know, like taking over whole nations and claiming it as yourself. This was a walk in the park, but you didn't. But uh, anyway, he says, I'm effing livid. If I was an illegal savage, I would have popped her the they gra grammar people grammar he says that he says the ir violence in her was so predictable i hope she gets deleted he says it's a jungle out in the cities after midnight violent savages on the streets they all came to defend this pig i had to yell like at dogs so if you know the jungle outside after midnight why did you go outside why didn't you make you like damn it's, it's about to be midnight it sounds go. to me it sounds to me like he was looking for it and like looking for something to pop off remember remember what john zerka did when he was mm -hmm. in times square and he yelled out the n-word and people was just like look and he he strategically did it around this black woman and whoever she was with and they just kind of looked at him and looked at the camera like he was crazy and kept it moving because they were like it's new york we probably see hear all this kind of stuff all the time and he didn't get the response that he was trying to get he was trying to get people to attack him that's what he was trying to antagonize people just like i'm sure that's probably what anthony did i'm almost guaranteeing he tried to antagonize this woman and he got it and it didn't go the way that he thought it would it literally backfired against him and he says savage violent animals prey on white people easy targets this you know has no clue how lucky she was. She belted 10 times. I had a firearm. Ooh. And then someone up, huh? Ooh. <laughs> then he says, WTF for no reason. Reason I was white. And he wrote, I was white in all caps. He wants people to know that. This is very, this is very interesting right here. Um, he says, Did you get any photos of her? <coughs> Excuse me. And he said, Yep. Animal pig F C B. Kumia repeatedly says the woman accidentally got in a picture while he was photographing Times Square, although many question the veracity of this as the first picture she's seen in is under scaffolding. So what started all of this? He says, I was taking pics at Times Square. She was in a pic. Violence was her answer. And then in all caps, he called her an animal. Maybe or she maybe a photographed. Exactly. Like, really? Like, exactly. Like, usually when people take pictures, if they'll be, like typically just get out of the frame or something like that or if they're in the frame just take it again but that's why i said i wish we could have seen actual footage if there is any of what actually happened because i'm guaranteeing he with the way he is with what we saw and how he's reacting right here he most definitely antagonized her for sure 
He says, or maybe a picking of the city with no one in it. He says, the sea animal kept walking into my arm. I had up as a block saying, don't touch me. Then would hit me. I hope a homeboy beats her to. Yeah. And look at all of this. He's keep, he's consistently wishing death on this woman mm -hmm. over a picture. He says the automatic jump to violence in that community is astounding. So now he's using what happened there to try to throw the blanket on the black community as a whole, which was his goal the entire time. He says no discussion. It starts punching at the least little thing. And notice he referred to us as it. So now we've gone from people to an object. He says, did you hit her back? I was fooled by my upbringing. I, he says, don't hit a woman, but this was an animal. I should have smashed its face. You, you didn't ready to say something? Mm -mm, I'm just... Yeah, yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. He said, there's a deep-seated problem with violence in the black community. Try to address it and you'll be exiled to racistville. But it's real. He says, great pick of that C rag B word, F animal, pig face, worthless, meat sack, ish, pow, stink, crotch, ass, stink. What? Sheesh. And I want y'all to understand this, y'all. All of these posts that he made that I'm reading was all made the same day within an hour. Like he literally just got on Twitter and just completely went and just started typing away and just not you get to the next one. This, this was all this again. This is this is pre Elon Musk. This was when Jack Dorsey still owned the platform, so there wasn't an option to expand it because there was no blue check marks at the time. He said, as he began to wind down, Kumia sent a few tweets about the anniversary of the Civil Rights Act. What the why? Why is the Civil Rights Act catching strays? He says. And now he's talking to Maxine Waters or replying to her. He says, today is the 50th anniversary of the Civil Rights Act. He says, we've made progress. There's still more work to do. And there sure is. He says, 50 years ago today, President Johnson signed the Civil Rights Act of 1964, hashtag 50 years later. And so what he said, how's that working out? Again, how did that catch strays? Like that had nothing, what you was doing, dealing with had nothing to do with that. But that he just felt like he had to go after them. And then he the rest of it, spent, yeah, the rest of that is that's just them sucking them off. Okay, so that. that's okay. Nah, you gotta read that. Okay, so we just listen. We probably spent like a good twenty minutes just on that alone. So now y'all have an idea of what this guy is like, even before the video that we just that you know, thankfully he said something to make it cut itself off to understand what this guy's all about so we know he's staunchly anti-black we know he's a sexual degenerate based on what happened in 2022 he loves putting his hands on women as we saw with his ex and according to this right here he antagonizes black people just so he could have a reason to make blanket propagandize anti-black statements he's checking off all the boxes hmm KG, do you have anything else you need to add to that? He's a cum stain. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Oh, uh, 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 he's a walking uh, back uh, piece of bacteria. Yeah. He, but anyway, y'all, I think we've made it to the end. We're not going to show the other. We're not going to show the tweets, right? No. All right, yeah, let's not nah, do that. Yeah, y'all, 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 listen, y'all, y'all suffered enough. <laughs> yeah, y'all did. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> what in them tweets, family? Y'all would have lost your mind on that. Yeah, y'all suffered enough. I don't want to like raise y'all blood pressure any higher. Hopefully, it didn't go any higher than what it is. Hopefully, it's stable. But yeah, we had to come on here and um talk about this dude. So now, for those of y'all who never heard of this guy before, he is now officially on the radar. It's only going to get worse because we're getting closer to the election. And by the way, um, yeah, Juneteenth. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can only I already know or have an idea what he going to say about that. That and Pride Month. Mm hmm. So, yeah. So it is. Yeah. It is. But yep, everybody, this is going to bring this collab to a close you know i'm glad that i was able to have kid gravity come up with me and, and go through this you know 
this torture because that's exactly what it was it was not it was not uh satisfying at all but it had to be discussed yeah but we you got to know where everybody stands definitely this is like at the, at the beginning of the year what cat williams said on club shay shay this is the year of exposure mm -hmm. receipts are being receipts are being dug up this year for this year as we've seen with various people over mm -hmm. the last few months and this only and literally we only about the end of the third quarter yeah. <laughs> and then um <laughs> the third quarter and you know you know what usually happens in the third quarter everybody tries to do their adjustments now but we've already picked it up yeah so we're just gonna do what we're gonna do mm -hmm. right <laughs> yeah, it's gonna yeah, be a hot summer boy <laughs> Oh, it's gonna be a lit and loud summer for real, for real, definitely. Especially at the end of, of June, we gotta go look at uh, how affirmative action did one year ago. <laughs> <laughs> one year later, it didn't do that thing. Started to cave in on them in less than a year. Remember last year? Oh my god, it was it already took, it took a week. You know, and, yeah, no, yeah, it took like a week or like about a week for them to realize they made a mistake. <laughs> oh yeah, so it didn't, even, it didn't even take a year, but yeah. yeah. But we about to get up out of here, y'all. Thanks for everybody uh tuning in definitely go ahead if you have not done so already to subscribe to kid gravity's channel at the time of this video he's like literally on the cusp of hitting 4,000 subscribers so hopefully by the time this video goes up he'll already have surpassed it and if not hopefully this video will send him over yay <laughs> that that would be that would be wonderful because i want to get right. to 5,000 before the end of the year that's a, I think that's a good goal to have. I think you can yeah. actually do it. Yeah. I well, think well, I, th I, th I think I think I might hit it the night of the election. I was getting ready to say I said, you know what? That might be that would be an interesting, you know, goal to have and have it to happen on that night. Yes. Maybe maybe we'll do a, a, a giveaway before the end of the year if that happens. Maybe I'll do right. it. It's about right. time. But uh we got All six right. more months, brother. You ready? Hmm. Are I you am. ready? You gotta make sure you get the tune up on the car because it's gonna be a long ride. <laughs> right. Yes. Sir. All right. All right, y'all. Y'all be safe and be one.